one of the most familiar choruses in rock history sung by one of its biggest selling artists. Bat Out of Hell was a debut album rejected by almost every major record label, but when it was released in 1977, it made Meatloaf a star. <laughs> Meat was born Marvin Lee a day, but acquired his legendary stage name just hours after being born. My dad was a policeman, and I was born bright red. He said, my son looks like four and a half pounds of ground chuck. So they made a card that goes in the front of the crib, and it said me. And he made him put me right in the middle and leave me there. Meatloaf left Texas with dreams of being an actor. My name is Bob. Bob. <laughs> and his success as a singer brought him high-profile movie cameos which played on his larger-than-life personality. Oh, I'm The man behind Meat's biggest hits was producer, songwriter and rock pianist Jim Steinman. Doing the show with Meat was always a dangerous occurrence. I mean, I mean that literally, there's always a chance of physical danger. Because he was, in a way, a very scary thing. A guy who did not have any conscious inhibitions when he was on stage. And that could be dangerous for the other people. As news of the singer's death spread around the world, stars who knew and worked with him paid tribute on social media. Stephen Fry said he had the quality of being simultaneously frightening and cuddly, which is rare and rather wonderful. Bonnie Tyler called him a one-off talent and personality. And Andrew Lloyd Webber said the vaults of heaven will be ringing with rock. Rest in peace. Marvin Lee Aday had to cope with drug abuse, health problems and a constant battle to be taken seriously. But towards the end of his life, he seemed to find peace. Everything that has gone right or wrong has been a lesson so you can never change it. Meatloaf once told an interviewer, rock and roll was never meant to answer the questions of the universe. It's a laugh, so laugh at me if you like. I have no problem with that. Oh